Mercedes AMG Interview Lounge. Darren Chris. I'm Hi. back. Let me be your publicist. I'll get you on Rachel Ray. Please. I love it. It's all of extra virgin olive oil. That sounds there. amazing. <laughs> that sounds delicious. You're going to be on Wendy too, right? I'm going to be on Wendy at some point. Oh, yeah. Nice. Right there on top of her. <laughs> so many things that you're doing. Okay, that's enough about me. Let's talk about you. So, Darren, uh, you did... I didn't have a book come out today. I have nothing to say. Well, you've got a lot going on. You don't have time to write a book now. It's you been will. You will write one. You need to. I, I'll get around to it. I, I, I've got other things i got to handle. But I do like writing a lot. Like, I was a kid that really enjoyed writing essays and stuff in, in high school. I just wouldn't turn them, on, turn them in on time, which is why I'll probably do a book much, much, much later in life. <laughs> okay, you'll get to it. I'll get to it. It's you not know, no rush. The book only, it, it'll happen when you're ready. And, and then take off right. it'll, you can take those off. Yeah, you don't need them in a second. Yeah. Hey, so uh, we got to talk about LC Fest. Every year you come in, you you pop in to talk about I who's going to be on stage. Every year, I feel like if I listen to all these consecutively, it starts with a good like minute of me going, has it already been a year? I can't believe it's been a year. It's, in, it's insane. Like what a like crazy like benchmark every year to like... Like what? Uh, like it's like a checkpoint where I go. Wait, is that? It's that time of year. So it's that it time of year. It is. It's, LC time. it's like pumpkin latte and Elsie Fest time. Yeah. yeah. Okay, you know what? Before we talk about Elsie Fest, this year's lineup and what it's all about, let's l- go over a few of your favorite moments from Elsie Fest's past. I mean, there's been four of them so far. Yeah. I mean, it's so cool. I, I, I think I've been to all of them. It's been. This will be the fifth one, and you right. have been to every single okay, one. Highlights. Highlights have been watching the people who have been at our lineup go off and do incredible things. We've had like amazing uh every year it's completely just by sheer providence uh have had these amazing award winners and people have gone on, gone on to do amazing things. Like we had a song premiere our first our second year by my friends Ben Patrick and Justin Paul from the University of Michigan who went on to win the Oscar or Golden Globe Tony Grammy for Dear Evan Hansen and they did a song from that there. We've had, I mean, the first year was Leslie Odom Jr. Right. of Hamilton. Various uh, various Hamilton cast yeah, members. Yeah, there's, there's people that every year, like my my old, my college roommate, uh, he did about two years ago, the, he was with the cast of, um, he, he did a song from The Band's Visit, which he would eventually win the, the Tony for, for that, that show winning. Um, and just, it's I, I, like I lose track of how many people have popped in and done these things that have gone on. To uh to even more you know uh success and acting and all the surprises like uh, Nick Jonas coming yes, out last Nick, year yeah. I, that's what I was going to lead up to we've had all these really fun last year we had two surprises um yeah Nick Jonas came out because uh, we both did how to succeed in business without really trying uh he was on the lineup he was nice enough to stop by and surprise everybody at the show we did uh, a rendition of uh, Brotherhood of Man at the end and then uh, my buddy Zach Levi came out as well he uh some people might know him as Shazam other might know him as uh. The voice of Flynn Rider in uh, Tangled. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, he came out and he did some Sinatra for us. So there's always really cool people that just, you know, uh, unbeknownst to the audience, are going to wow us with some surprise tunes. Look, here we are in New York City. In our backyard is Broadway and off-Broadway and off-off-Broadway. And, you know, uh, if it's on a stage with a live orchestra playing and they're singing and they're acting... You know what? That's the magic. That's one of the things we love about New York City. And Elsie Fest really is a great opportunity for some of these artists, some of these performers who play the same parts every night beautifully, to kind of go on a stage and do their own thing and be themselves. Yeah, yeah it's like a, it's like it's a concert for yeah. them to star in. And every exactly. year it sells out, and people just come from all around to attend Elsie Fest. Yeah. So that leads us to this year's Elsie Fest. Yeah, it's a and every year I kind of curate. How do you have time the, to do this. You're I so don't busy. know. I I truly don't know. I I I don't. I have nothing. What did he say? I don't know. I don't know how I did it. But I'm here, and by golly, we're going to try and get it done this week. Okay, so Elsie Fest this year. This it's year. Going this down is year October five. 5th. October 5th. And it's our first Saturday that we've ever done. Yeah, it's usually a Sunday. It's usually a Sunday, um, but we went for it this this year just to see how it would work. Um, you know, because every year it's always a bummer when, you know, I don't, people work on Monday, and even sometimes it's a holiday, sometimes it's not. Um, Saturday we thought might be a, a little better for some of the folks that are coming in from other other parts of uh, the country or other parts of the world. And it's outdoors in Central Park again this outdoors year. Outdoors in Central Park. Perfect. And so uh, they've redone Summer Stage. They've kind of changed the layout a little bit, so I'm excited to, to kind of... Yeah, they have perfect. toilets that work now. Yeah, that's My good. God. Fabulous. Wow, well, then we're definitely going to advertise that. You hear that, everybody? <laughs> the toilets work. They do. Woo-hoo. So, okay, who is performing this year? We have, uh, to me, the iconic Michael Feinstein, who uh, it's, it's funny, like we... 
I this is a he's a singer and uh, a standards guy that everybody knows in like, at least in my community. Right. Uh, but I think a lot of younger folk or who might not be as familiar with his body of work are like, oh yeah, Feinstein's Fifty Four Below, which to me is like <laughs> saying that as a qualifier is insane to me yes. because it's it's Michael having Feinstein. Um, but he's uh, of course an incredible singer, pianist, uh, preservationist of the American Songbook. He'll be with us. Um, the incomparable Emmy, Grammy, Tony Award winning. Cynthia, Cynthia Arrivo, Arrivo, who I cannot believe is doing this. She's about to have, I mean, she every year for her is a wow. huge year. She's such a fashion icon, too. Like, if you look up any of her fashion looks and if you see her at the Met and all these things, she's such a, a force in her own right. Didn't we see her in Color Purple? Oh, yeah. yeah. She's, oh, no, she won Tony for Color Purple. Unbelievable yeah. in oh Color Purple. And she's about to, and she's in a whole bunch of uh, films and stuff, and she's just uh, always had an amazing career thus far. She's about to be, um, she, well, she's already done it, but she's in, she plays Harriet Tubman. Uh, in that film that comes out later this year. So that'll be a big, huge moment for her. And she's in it with Leslie Odom Jr., another fellow Hamilton. Elsie. Yeah, they all do Hamilton. each other. Yeah. I mean, not do each other, but they do <laughs> work with each other. Yeah. Hey, another thing that's great about Elsie Fest is the shows that are coming out. Yeah. They they they, they debut their songs at Elsie Fest. Yeah, last year we had, like, Be More Chill, and we had... Um, we, uh, like I said, we had uh, bands visit. We've had a lot of shows that have been around where we'll just feature a couple numbers or people from the cast. So this year, um, I'm really excited about this. I feel like most people who love music are excited about anything to do with Alanis Morissette. Yes. But Jagged oh, Little yeah. Pills Jagged Little coming Pill. to Broadway yeah. in everyone's, November. Everyone's so. buzzing about Jagged Little Pills. Oh, Pill I can't saying. wait. I have a ton of friends in that. So the cast of that will be doing some numbers for us. We have um, a little group called, uh, well, it's not a group, sort of a, a project called uh, Rogers and Hammerstein Goes Pop where they have sort of pop versions of these classic Roger and Hammer time, Hammerstein tunes. Uh, my musical from 10 years ago, which kind of was my start, turned 10 this year, a very Potter musical, so the cast of that will be doing some songs from that. Um, very Potter musical. A very Potter musical. That changed my life. Um, high I, School uh, Musical? High School Musical, the musical, the series. I'm in. Is going to be doing some songs for us. If you're unfamiliar with that, it's I think it's so amazing. It's for Disney+, Plus, and they're doing like... Uh, it's 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 a really clever way of redoing High School Musical without redoing exactly what it is. It's about the kids who go to the same high school where they shot a very uh, where they shot High School Musical, and they decide to put on High School Musical. See? <laughs> That's That's I mean, yeah. awesome. it's like so simple. It's it's, 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 it's complicated. Really, it's really really great. I can't wait for Disney Plus. Yeah. So the cast is doing that. We we'll hear some songs, and then uh, uh, Percy Jackson. Um, it's just, it was another musical that's been on uh, off Broadway is uh, going to be with us. Um, and Dylan Burnside. Don't forget Dylan. D- Delon, 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 who Delon, was, uh, sorry. in the cast of uh, Pose, and he was also on Broadway um, uh, a few years back. Uh, if you saw Hades Town, uh, didn't we see Hades yep. Town? Familiar with that? Anais Mitchell, who wrote the music for that and won the Tony for that, she'll be there. Gavin Creel won the Tony for uh, Hello Dolly, fellow Michigan alum, he'll be there. Um, Ariana DeBose, who's a very decorated uh, Broadway actress who's about to be Anita in Steven Spielberg's uh, New West Side Story. She'll be with us. So See, a lot of cool th- people. she's one of those who uh, very recognizable here in New York and in, in the theater scene, but now about to be catapulted into superstardom on the stage and movies and everything. And I'm telling you right now, they're, they start their careers, a lot of them, at LC Fest. That's where they're first exposed. They start them elsewhere, but no, we get no, a piece take, of their magic no, 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 no. on take the way. Credit. Take full yeah. Stop it, Darren. Take full credit. <laughs> now, look, I want you to make a day of it. It's outside Central Park at Summer Stage. It's just an unbelievable fun time because you're surrounded by other geeks just like you and me <laughs> who love the theater, who love the music. And, and uh, I'm telling you, LC Fest And the level year, of town is... Is just absurd. It's it. You you're absurd. You're an abs- you're absurd. Yeah, because I you know absurd. he's forgetting one person who will be performing and really the heartbeat <laughs> of the whole Elsie Fest uh, fantastic feeling, and that's Darren Chris. Oh yeah, I'll yeah. be doing some oh. stuff too. Have yeah, you decided you. what you're doing yet I or forgot. no? Uh, I actually have. I was a good kid. I decided extra early this year. Uh, <laughs> yes, which is to say, I decided like yesterday. Yeah, yes. I oh, it's the last thing I worry about because I'm running around making sure everybody else is taken care of. That when I go, by the time I go on stage, I'm like, oh yeah, what are we? What are we doing? But I do a different set every single year. I mean, if anybody, if you go down the wormhole of every show I've ever done in my life, ever, I've never played the same set twice, ever. So Elsie's no exception where I do songs that I've never done before and may never like do again. Okay, I'm about so. to freak out. Let's make sure everyone knows how to get LC Fest tickets, then I got to freak out about something. Okay. LC <laughs> Fest tickets, available now. It's October 5th, uh, Central Park. It's outside, this Saturday, yeah. It's going to be. It's beautifully staged. The best people, uh, and it's a pretty good value considering that a lot of these people you can see for you know an unfortunately exorbitant price on Broadway. But if you right. have all these people in one place giving you all these songs that you might know from their work and songs that you might love, 
at uh, you know, it's a it's a pretty damn good bargain considering just the level of talent. I I realized the other day I was talking about just what it's like to be in New York and being around all these talented people. We are in the Olympic tent of this echelon of performers of people that can sing, dance, act. They're all here in our backyard working eight shows a week, and they're just here. So to see this uh amount of people in an outdoor sort of rock and roll setting is such a special thing, and I'm just so proud of it. It's a bargain. He's telling yeah. you right now. That's, yeah. that's how we justify our crazy Jingle Ball tickets. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <That's> true. <laughs> I mean, bargain. but that's a really similar thing. You know, it you're is. getting all these people that to see separately on their own is is a pain because they're all you know touring in all different things, and it's a whole you know to have this kind of super set list of all these main people. So yeah, this is sort of a very much a Jingle Ball. Of it is. the songs and people in tradition of Broadway. And we'll see you at Elsie Fest. And you get your tickets where? Go. Uh, ElsieFest.com. Um, I should probably know the exact answer of the ticket outlet. But if you go to ElsieFest.com, yeah. you can get to, you can find it. Do a Google the tickets E-L-S-I-E there. Fest. Yeah, we've got right. some smart listeners. Okay, here's why I'm freaking out. So Darren Chris, if you're just turning us on, Elsie Fest, do a Google. You got to go. I'll see you there. I think I'm on stage. I'm doing something. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not oh. singing. But. Oh, yeah. Well, we might get you to sing. No, 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 no. Yeah. Uh, I've, I've talked to you on the phone. We've talked on social media, but but this is the first time I've seen you with that ring on your finger. Uh, you too, man. I know. We done did it. <laughs> what a year. Married. We did it. We we conquered the world. We got ourselves married. How do you feel? You're, well, you're see, two, three you're, weeks on. Yeah. I feel different. I, I, I didn't think I would feel differently after getting married. I do feel different. But you said you'd feel the same. I mean, sure. You I seem mean, bored with well, it already. Well, no. I'll tell you <laughs> this. Bored. I think it, it's it's different because other people experience you differently. It's like sort of outside in. It's not inside out. Okay. Like I didn't wake up and go, oh, I'm a different person now. Other people, you know, now I have this like title now. But you don't look at Mia differently now that you're married to her? No. Okay. All right. I I'm not, that's not, I'm not uh, saying yes, that. of course I do. No, of don't course. say that. No, you're right. I no, you I totally do. Don't I just don't think me. I don't think about it as a consciously as that. And also I didn't just get married like three weeks ago. This is true. Like I'd, it's it's so I'll be tired right. of it soon, too. No, I uh, know it's all great. I mean, yeah, go put words in my mouth, man. It's gonna get me in trouble here. Trouble. Come on, thank Stop you. It. Well, anyway, it's yeah. great to see you. As Likewise, always. man. And uh, LC Fest, of course, gives us a reason to finally get Darren to come back to New York every once in a while. I know this is the least amount of time I've spent in New York all year between like the wedding and I was on tour and I. You're I, working too. But I'm can, working. What can you and can you not talk? about? Oh my god, I can talk about all the things. Tell them. Tell, get, tell them. I what you're created doing. a show for, and this is really complicated if you don't know what Quibi is, but people will uh, come April of next year. Quibi. But, Quibi, that's a whole thing. We don't have to get into it. But I, I, I uh, sold a show to them that I created and put together with my friends. And that's been a huge chunk of my life because I was developing it. I produced it, wrote a lot of it, and I wrote a lot of the music. I wrote all the music for it. I'm in it. It's a really fun cast. A lot of cool people are involved in that. Um, and so that was kind of like my my pet project for years. And I, so I finally wrapped that about two weeks ago, concurrently also shooting a show that I'm executive producing with Ryan Murphy. Uh, called Hollywood, which is about 1940s Hollywood. So I was doing both at the same time. There, like the Venn di diagrams went over each other for like a good two, three weeks where I was running back and forth. Between so that's why things. you didn't come to my wedding. It's exactly why I couldn't come to your wedding. <laughs> Fine. Yes, that was what I was doing. It's okay. You're I, was, I was with uh, Jennifer Coolidge playing a... <sighs> Love her. She. I won't say who she played, but she, I was in a in a studio with her and John Stamos laughing my ass off going, oh, man. I'm They're both sorry. funny people. I'm sorry I'm not at Ellis's, mom. but this is very fun. Yeah, yeah, it's Stifler's mom. She's hilarious. She's Bend and Snap, Stifler's mom, and all the characters from all the Christopher Guest movies. Well, it's good to see you finally. But yes. you, you know you don't get out of here alive. <laughs> You got. You've got to like work for your. You got to work for your for your visit. I love it. Whatever you, you ready? need. It's Let's time to it. play. Finish that Broadway hit. Oh, oh, geez. line. Oh, there was some really strong reactions. Singular sensation. Every little step she takes. Is this what we're opening with? That's a theme song. Of course, I. In Derry Chris, we find someone who appreciates and loves and and studies. All things Broadway and musicals. So I think this should be easy for you. This is just said. Well, don't look at the thing. Okay. <laughs> I can't get that far. Here we go. Okay. When the wind comes right behind the rain. Go. Oh, Oklahoma, <laughs> where there's something, 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 something. You, you're asking me to sing it or ask me to get the words? Yeah, yeah. The I, I had Oklahoma, so I knew that was. Okay, that's I good. I can name that's the song. All right, you're just warming up. Okay, listen to this. Here we go. Don't forget from whence you came, and the world's going to know your name. Alexander Hamill something. Alexander Hamilton. That's easy. See what I did there? Because I pretended like I didn't know okay. the most obvious okay, answer. Hold on, Darren. Let me make it a little more, a little more challenging. I simply remember my name. Come on. And then I 
Everybody knows what song this is. I don't feel. This is Ariana Grande's. <laughs> <laughs> Finish the line. <laughs> and then I don't feel. feel so bad. I like that Rodgers and Hammerstein has a huge cut of the of the pie of that song, by they the do. way. As yeah. they should. As they should. It's super Can cool. Anybody All right. Is anybody waiting? What a jam. Back in me. Back oh, man. Me. Yeah, you're doing well. Yeah, of course. I can also. Well, I'm not going to look. But they're also. These are big, big tunes. You're not going like deep. Like deep cuts, this is great. Well, let me go deep for you. Okay. If you say it loud enough, you'll open up the coaches. Super califragilistic. <laughs> You're right, these are way too easy. These are way too easy. 25,600. Uh, that's uh, my. How <laughs> stupid is that? Our business partner in LA at Church of Grand is he, he doesn't know anything about musical theater and he has to hear all these songs all the time. And bless him, he's really sort of acclimated to. You know, an outsider's perspective of all these songs. And so it'll be like, what's that one about the, you know, the time? I like that one. You know, the 600, 94, 1, 2, 5, 8, and 3. Oh, that's a, that's a good song. I like that song. Bless his little and heart. And I'll just, like, give some arbitrary number. I'm like, yeah, the time one. I love that song, too. That was the time one. <laughs> hey, so, um... When are we gonna go see a show? We used to go on dates. I know. I've listen. He's married. You, you're married. No married, more. Yeah. No more dates. No, 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 no more play dates, bud. Sorry, man. No, there's tons of play dates. <laughs> of course. I've just been out. Of, I just haven't been in New York very I much. Know, so I know. We, I, we yeah. would do shots and go see musicals, which is so much fun. You know what? I we the the thing that I was texting you about that I really wanted to do, and I'm so sad that I share couldn't show. Do, was the share show. Yeah, we I, missed it. I'm, really upset that I couldn't do that because I was gone all year and that was the one that I was like because Stephanie J. Block won the Tony for that I know um, oh, so I said well, let's just go see the real share <laughs> yeah let's do that why she, not she's do, she's been doing her going out of business sale for like three, 13 years now <laughs> she's still going now out of business now be nice I am being nice she's still in business she is <laughs> better than ever okay so what I'm not gonna. Yeah, what campy fun shows should we consider putting on our list of shows to to see on date night? Um, I. What's the one you're laughing with now? Well, <laughs> I don't want to put it out there because then people will see me there and be like, "Oh, he's probably wrecked." But I guess you could also just assume that. Um, I I gotta go see Frozen at some point. You yeah. haven't seen Frozen? I haven't seen Frozen. Oh, yeah. So good. So, I, and I, the originals will be leaving, so. Yeah, I gotta yeah. do that. I have some friends in that show. So, okay, so should we do tequila before we do? I would frozen? do to- Well, he's a. We should get to. frozen margaritas. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah, is too you, obvious. They have frozen uh, drinks there. Oh Special. really? Of course they do. Yeah, some frosé, frosé for frozen. <laughs> yeah, we'll just frose. let it all go. It'll be great. All right. Well, look, it's LC Fest time, and uh, it's. I'm telling you right now, if you have anyone in your life, and if, if it's not you, who who is so into musicals or anything on the stage or next to a stage, LC Fest is just the most incredible experience. Uh, in its fifth year. And I do believe I've been all five years. All five years. You, you asked me one of my favorite things about the show, aside from these like fun moments that we that we have every year, these these surprise moments. I always love it when I meet folks that didn't know what they were in for that year, that got taken along, and are so blown away by the the performers and the and the performances. They're like, "Who's this person? Who's that person? I got to go see this show now." And that's kind of the point of this whole festival is to get people hip to a lot of talent that again is right in your backyard that is just so outstanding that you go, "Oh man, I I really should probably get behind a lot of these these people and get to know them a little better because within a year or two they're going to be you know in some huge thing that you're like oh my god I get to, I'm so glad I got to see him at LC Fest and looking at it a uh, more global uh, from a global position. Uh, you know, wherever you live, wherever you're listening to this show right now, there's theater going on in your town. There yeah. is. And it's, it's sometimes it's in the high schools. Sometimes it's just a community theater. There are musicals. There are people that you work with every day who live on your street who are at night going for rehearsals and getting ready to put on a play, put on a show. Yeah. So no matter what town you're living in, check it out. Support your local your local stage arts. Yep. I think that's absolutely. Such an I thing. couldn't have said that better myself. That's something I've probably neglected to say these past five years. Well, it's I've okay. been so absorbed in my own festivals, not looking out for the rest of the world. There you are. You are. But but by doing it here in New York City, of course, the we're <laughs> celebrating it everywhere by celebrating it here. I think the stage, the, the New York City, is a stage, and it is a star of every show that plays here. So, <laughs> yeah. Darren, Chris, we love you. Uh, LC you Fest, guys. LC, oh, LCFest.com and get your tickets, and we'll see you there on see October fifth. Thank you, Darren. Thank you.